we're going to be playing some uh, Restaurant Tycoon 2 here, and yeah, let's just get started. So last episode, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we added this door right here, we added some walls, um, we added the glass back to this, we changed the outside area, and we started uh, getting this underway. So let's continue what we were doing. So let's get some tables, like just our normal dining tables. Just get our normal stuff, what we normally get here. And of course we'll get our modern booth. Now, what I want to do here is I want to start replacing these with the modern booths. Now, if I'm correct, okay, we're both the exact same, so, so yeah, I still have for half. No, it's still one already there. So one is probably going to sit there. Great, okay. Quickly, as many as you can, just sell. Sell the seats, okay? I don't want to sell all of them, you know, because there's no point in two, but... Let's get the modern boots going here. Okay, now we just reverse. Alright, so it looks like here that, um, I ran out of money. And I need all of this, so, yeah. I remember what I did is, um, what I did was, um, I went into build mode, went into more options, demolish items, and then I just, all ceiling, or, um, the whole restaurant, I did this, and, um, sell it, I sold all of it, and then, yeah, so this is where we are now, I quite like it, I should say, and then back here, I want to get some, like, bamboo, like I did before, so it looks like I'm near Ikea, like, um, I'm gonna get... there we go. Yeah, so it looks like here that, um, now sadly the people don't uh, recognize this as a, like a functional door. That's what I want to be added, is like, there's, like, the doors actually, like, work. So, for example, like, if you close doors, then you can't get in or out. Oh, look at that. So you can open, like, the chef door. That's nice. Here, is there a different door that I could use? Do they know they added a couple new doors? A kitchen door, yeah. Yeah, that one could work. So if we just sell this, then we put in a We'll put in a, we're hitting E, oh. I go like this, then I go paint. All right, and so we're just gonna go like this, paint it. I'm trying to figure out which color would look good for this. I would say this, but it's too black. This could work, though. I do like that, so. Yeah, it sort of, like, it, like, you know, gives off that not really bad vibe. And then, like, oh, yeah. See, so, like, that was really nice if we get, like, a white increase. Oh, yeah, like, look at this. Like, this looks really good already. And, of course, we had to make room for the drive through window, which uh, is quite cool. Now, what I would like to see... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Were we closed before? Okay, so apparently, I didn't fix the sign or whatever. So, what we're going to do is we're going to open up our drive through And, well... Uh, for that, put the open sign right there on the front, and now we have a drive-through. Now, 
here's the thing is that I don't know what the short drive through is going to be coming with here, but. Okay, so let's look like here, but yeah, like. Ooh, let's go. So we're getting some monies. Look at this. We got some cars coming through here. You know what would be really cool is if, like, you know, they could start, like, piling up. So, like, you had to serve them fast. Like, that would be, like, a really cool gimmick. For it, instead of just, like, one person at a time. Like, I know that, um... I know it's supposed to be, like, a calm game or whatever, but... I feel like that could be, like, really cool. I'm just saying. So, let's go through. Alright, we're going to play the food truck game. Alright. 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 Look at these. Like, we got it. Alright, we got to go. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. Alright. Of course. Alright, you gotta get this. So we're not really building much today, which is okay. I wanna rack up some cash first. Cause if I don't, then you know, um well then we got problems. Cause I wanna I wanna make sure I can uh, I have enough money to do what I wanna do, cause well cause, and I don't want it like AFK here, you know. Because well that's boring. AFK is boring. By the way, I like that. That's cool. We might even um, build stuff in my house. I don't know. Probably not this episode, though. Man, this is a lot better than before. Wait, people... Oh, no, wait. People want it mining up. Yeah, like, look at this. We got the uh, Kyle... So we got the Kyle Calf restaurant one. It's really cool. So, uh, yeah. I hope you all... I'm giving you all a favor, to be honest. You guys are getting food at a, at a miraculous rate. Come on. Boom. So far, this is, um... I don't know why it wasn't working. Okay. Alright, if this all depends on this last one. Yeah, I'm... Depends if this is the last one. Nope, we can't do it in time. 52 bucks from the food truck minigame. That's not that bad now. Can I? Yes, they fixed this. They finally fixed the uh, car bug. Because before I was getting, like, a bug that, like, wouldn't let me spawn in, like, any more cars. So, thankfully, they fixed that because, you know. So, did you know that this is actually where the, um, owner parks his car? Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? So, um, sadly, I can't put on any music in my restaurant right now. Because of, well, you know, copyright reasons, but... Alright, yeah, I'm gonna try my best to fill up the entire bottom row. So as you can see, all these stylish booths, not gonna be much of a problem, so. There you go, so. So really, the service is sort of like terrible, you know, but also we're not asking people like 24-7. Hey, how's the meal? How's the meal? Even though you haven't even taken a bite yet. Now, a lot of, like, places, you know, like, um, like, not just, like, it's normally, like, the Calgary ones, you know? Because they want to, like, make sure that the food is tasting good first before, like, you know, they forget about you for, like, 40 minutes while they, while you eat your meal. They actually do that on purpose, because when the staff aren't bugging you, and that gives you more time to talk, more time to, you know, like, more time to actually, like, more time to do it. Like, more time to talk, more time to, like, stay at the restaurant and maybe get more hungry for more appetizers. Yes, you aren't bringing in as much customers as you could be, but it's better. 
Like, look at me being, like, a, the perfect waiter right now. Like, like, look at this. Like, like, have you seen a waiter this good at a restaurant before? I don't think so. I really don't think you have. Or, let me write this one right there. Oh, wait, yep, and we want the things from that. Oh, yep, we want this, we want that, okay. Hello, guys, table four, right this way, right over there. And now we're going to have to go into the other lane to uh, fulfill the um, sides here. Or, well, I guess we can still do that one first. Boom. Okay, and now we should be able to go on to the next row of people. See, like, this is what happens. Is when you build, like, a big restaurant like this, it's hard to keep track. It's hard to, like, you know, it's hard to smell the roses. Because you're trying to work, like, so hard to, like, maintain your restaurant. Like, look at this. Like, I just sat these people, and now they're asking for drinks. They're asking... For sushi, like right, like that person over there, right? Like they're, they're already asking for food, so they're gonna be gone soon. And I haven't even started the upstairs people yet. See, so when you just let your staff handle it, it's not as efficient. Like it's not as good as it could be. But right now, like we are getting like lots of orders come in, which is really putting a thing on my um, staff right now. They're probably pa panicking right now, like... Boom. Okay, so they just left, so I can collect the money from that. They're... Yeah, I'm trying to, like, do the best I can right now, but it's hard. Okay, so... A table for four, table for four, where is it? Where can we put... Right there. Nah. Unlock a new dish. I think we'll go with this one. There we go. Look at this. Like, like we are really working it right now. Like, we are, we are working this stuff right now. Like, like, have you seen someone more efficient than me? Probably not because... Right now, this is actually very difficult to maintain. So I think the entire main floor, yeah, it's, it's completely done. Even the fancy table. Which means it's upstairs. Oh, I get, oh. That's what I don't like, is I want to deal everything myself, but also, like, I don't. So what you could do is, like, they could add, like, jobs to it. So, like, for example... You wouldn't have to do all of it. You would just have to do some of it. Like, like not you have to do, like, everything, but, like, you can tell your waiters, like, in here, like, you can tell your waiters, like, hey, you guys aren't supposed to be, you know, food people, and then you're supposed to be table people. So then it's more order orderly and not as confusing for the people. Wait, did I just position? Oh, come on. You guys are ruining my fun. You know, I guess they could take orders down here, but there are no orders right now. Ooh, actually, there are four orders right up here. And that's it. Okay. It's upstairs, are you serious? Did I take all the ones that are upstairs right now? Really? I really just did that. I got a lemonade. Lemonade, orange juice, or two. Like, look at how many people are, like, coming to my restaurant. Like, look at the outside. It's busy. You know why? Because I added this portion out to everyone. Like, this portion out here has been made for it. Like, this right here, for example. Like, we have a bunch of two-person seats now. Before, we only had, like, three or two or three. Now, we have, like, Four, four or five. Like, I love it. Now that we have, like, so... Now, I need more staff. That's what I need. Is I need more staff. Okay, so now that I have, like, a lot more money, I'm going to start getting some of the upstairs stuff. 
Um, like some of the upstairs tables. Gonna start getting some work. Alright, so now we're gonna go on to the rose work. It says no, but we don't do it. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do for now because I don't wanna do too much. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to chairs. I'm gonna start putting in our modern boots. Yep. Oh, I forgot this side right here. So really what I'm doing right now is just um, adding them back. Except as newer ones. Like the new boots. Okay, yeah. Can't do that. Can I do this one? Yeah. So right now I'm just trying to um, do as many as I can right now. Oh, wait. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, because this is a side that I already did. Okay, so... Okay, we can't do that one. We did this one. Okay, we can't do that one either. That one's almost fitted fully, so this one. Yeah, here. Are you serious? Like, are almost all of these ones filled right now? Okay, this one's not filled. And that one's filled. How many people do we have in my restaurant right now? Apparently a lot. Wow. Okay. Um, that's a lot. So really what you need with your restaurant is you need... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Alright. Um, you need like a restaurant already sort of like active with it so yeah what we can do here now is we'll close the restaurant okay and restaurant is now closed now i want to empty it like right away but that's going to be super hard to do so i'm not going to do it because it, it messes up your staff when you do that you do that, like, it messes up your staff. By the way, why is no one else coming in? Probably because, um... Three times. Like, the food design and popularity is all of five, but then the service and experience is, um... is not as good, so... So there's an option to, like, rate other people's restaurants. Is that still, like, around? Oh, wait, I, I closed the restaurant, so it's not going to be there. Ha! I forgot. Oh, are you kidding me? I was just about to come up. Uh, by the way, I think I have, like, the biggest restaurant out of everyone. Just saying. Like, the big one. that guy? I don't think we did. Okay. Um, now what we gotta do for a second here is we to store it and put our clothes one in. So once everyone filters out of here, which should be soon, then, um... So right now, since we're uh, closed, we're going to start dimming the lights. So then it feels like a lot more... Um, it just feels like a lot more... Oh, wait. We got to leave. Okay. So as you can see now, it looks like that we got to, like... We got to leave, you know. So yeah, this is actually one of the best ways to get your restaurant full. Now, I don't suggest this for, like, a starter restaurant... Like, I suggest it for anything with, um, like a big one like mine. Because once you keep it running for a little bit, then you close it, then you get a lot. And I mean a lot more, um, like you get a lot more money out of it than you did with before. Now, look at this expensive area. We have an aquarium and overhead lighting. Well, that's the thing I also want to do is have some overhead lighting. If I can, like, just lighting that comes down to the table. And if we don't have enough for how many seats I have, then, well, um, I just won't do it. Simple as that. So, yeah. As you can see, once these two families have filter out of here, then, um, the door will be shut and locked. But we can't do that yet. So what I'm gonna, gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get some, um, some overhead lighting in. So what I mean by that is like, um, so 
So we gotta find the center of the table, which is right around here. Could I put that downstairs? <laughs> Oh, that doesn't look right. That we've already paid for. I can just move it over by some. Oh no, I didn't mean store it. Oh no, okay. Store. Okay, so it needs to be right over. Right there. Perfect. See? That's what I want to do for it. Do stuff like that. We have our modern lights going through here. What we're going to do is we're going to place our character right in the center or about or about that. And then what we do is then what we do is we just place it in the middle of the table. Look at how cool this restaurant is already going to become if we keep doing this. It's like I can totally see like the outside lights, you know, and then like these lights. Just like going to this, you know, like it looks like really cool now. Imagine just in like the middle of your meal, and then like the uh, people that were like, when like, there we go. Okay. Hi guys. Um, don't mind me. We're just um adding some lights to your probably already finished meal. Alright, oh, I did not mean to do that, okay. When I go downstairs, it's probably going to be like a Havoc House of Lights. Probably. Yeah, I'm going to go check downstairs. Because I can probably bet you that there are a couple lamps that are not going to uh, be where they need to be here. So, um, I accidentally got rid of the door. Where's that big door right here? A big French door. Oh wow, I'm actually starting to run out of money. Well, that's bad. That's fine, we'll get a cash reboot as soon as I'm uh, finished construction. Alright, so let's keep getting our lights in here. Boom. Look at that. I think they increased it to um, any light that you put in. I don't think there's like a limit. Well, I think there still is, but I don't think it's like as low as it was before. I think people are like complaining. They're like, hey, you know, um, we want more light because if we want to like fit the aesthetic of like, you know, a restaurant, we need more lighting. Oh yeah, look at this. This one's not even in yet. And yet we're getting a light in here anyways. And here's the problem, that we can't tell where it could be. So that could probably be the win right there. We can have sell these. Now you gotta fix the wall. I like how fixing my wall is cheaper than the light itself. And I guess that does, like, you know, make sense, because you don't want, like, a bunch of, like, people just spamming their lights. And, like, complaining that, you know, we don't have enough lights in their thing to fill up the entire place. Which I can totally understand, like, people, like, doing, you know? Okay, I don't have enough uh, room for my lights. Can you, like, you know, add it? 
when they add it, you know, and then boom, now it's havoc. Yeah, so it looks like you're about, we're sort of like running low on cash. Once they run out of money, then, uh, then we will stop. But until then, we're not out of money. Okay, I did it flawlessly, okay. How do I keep getting this wrong? Alright, so it looks like here that it's finally looking like a real restaurant now and not just something that I made in like 20 minutes for like an episode. It actually looks like a proper restaurant soon so and that's what I want it to look is I want it to actually look like a real restaurant and not just some like fake stuff like a fake thing like a uh, like something used for like a series of like a couple episodes and then never touched again. But I actually spend like a lot of time on this restaurant. Oh wait, I'm out of money. I thought it said like, yeah, you've reached the limit. No! I just ran out of money! You already know. I like, I want kid, I want more kid stuff. How are people still, okay, the bottom floor's gotta be a lot more empty, but yeah. The bottom floor that's like completely empty pretty much. And that's where I was saying like I can get my cash money. I like my Yeah, I like I can get cash money. And by the way, big tip here, get like four people and six people seats. Cause the two people seats won't like be there By the way, like look at this. Like I'm back to like six hundred dollars and I'm not even finished yet. With my money collection. Now we're done the bottom floor. And I think we're actually done with top no, we're not done with top floor. So I have a couple, but like look at how bright this place already is. Oh look at this! They're gone. Which means bye bye. Door's locked. Alright. So now the outside patio is a done. Now I just gotta wait until they're all done. And then, bada bing, bada boom, one by one, they're going to start to, like, look at how much money I just replenished. Like, I'm back up to where I was when I started the entire light thing. I think, the, oh, wait, we've, oh, wait, we want, still want the door open. Why is it not opening? Oh, it's because that's one of it. Oh, did I just like break the game? I think I broke the game. Or maybe no, because I can still open close these doors. So, like, what's the issue with this one? I just need to like be replaced. Here, I am gonna replace it. Okay, not see. There we go. I think it was just like a little issue. By the way, I like it where it's going in. Actually, no, because nah. I'll change it. I'll flip it around. All right, move. There we go. And now, boom. Doors are still open for a little bit longer until we finish the um our last door upstairs, which. I think it's actually done. I think everyone's been cleared out of this place. Oh, uh, gotta make sure that we collect the money. Yeah, two found, two grand. And now we close that door. We close that door. And now what I'm normally going to do here is what happens if I put one to break. Okay, it does nothing. So what we're going to do 
is we're going to take them back, but we're going to let them replenish their happiness for a while. We're going to let them uh, replenish their money, and I'm going to continue with our lights. Imagine now it says that um, you have too many lights placed after I got like all the money that I'll need for like probably like the entire upper floor. Okay, it's hard to position the camera correctly because I don't know how, but is that good? No, it isn't. It is not good. Oh no. Sell and sell. Okay, um. I know I don't think I can do this with the light placing system, can I? Oh. Sort of, but not really. Okay, so we want to center myself right here. And now, boom. There we go. The entire upstairs has been filled with the lights. And now I go like this. I know it's intersecting a light right there, but I don't care. Okay, you can sue me if you want, but it's not gonna work. Now you can really see like the psychoness of my uh, of my restaurant. Oh no, oh no, okay. I thought I was stuck there for a second. I was like, no, I'm not stuck. I am not being stuck. All right, so I think I'm going to end off the episode soon, as soon as I finish placing all the lights, because, um, I know it is a little boring to watch a guy place, like, lights for, like, over an hour. And by the way, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one, but I have a different idea for it. Right here, no, I don't know. So for these 2D ones, or for like these side ones, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just like place it like that for them. So then I don't have to like place it like this one, so it's intersecting. There we go. And I just got to go back down to these lamps. get that one. Hmm, that's weird. So a tip here that I haven't been following myself for a while, because I didn't care to, but when you add tables, make sure that you add, like, tip jars and, like, lamps with it. Oh my gosh, I don't like things off-centered like this. Oh yeah, I do think I'm going to end off the episode now. Okay, how did I mess that one up, like, so badly? Alright, so before we end it off here, I'm probably not going to do this off camera, but it does look really cool. So what I'm going to do, let's see what does it look like when it's fully bright. Wow, it is uh, bright. Well, um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Oh man, like that, the restaurant when it's closed, and then like when it's open... There's like a completely different story. Like it looks like the, the restaurant's alive. Then it's not alive. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!